ターゲットラングウェッジで授業を行うということはコアプラクティスまたはハイレベレッジティーチングプラクティスの中にもありますがとても大事です。日本語のクラスですからもちろん日本語で授業をしなければいけないということは分かっていても英語で説明してしまうという経験はあると思います。学習者にとって全く違う文化や言語を日本語で教える際どのようにすればいいのでしょうか。コンプレヘンサブルラングウェイジというのをよく耳にしたことがあると思います。つまり学習者が分かる言葉で言い換えたり例を挙げたり文脈や状況を挙げて理解を促したりいろいろなストラテジーを使い学習者に意味を理解させることが大事です。時間がかかるかもしれませんがここに時間をかけることが大事です。また学習者にもそれぞれ学び方がありますから絵を使ったり表情ジェスチャーグラフチャート音など五感を刺激するアクティビティも効果的ですいろいろな角度から学習者の注意を促し興味理解をさせるコンテキストを作ることも大事ですさらに日本語のクラスは学習者と先生学習者同士のインタラクションが多ければ多いほど効果的です学習者がどのぐらい理解しているかチェックするさまざまな方法、発話を促す質問の仕方などを駆使することが大事になってきます。So we're here to plan our lesson for next week.、Uh, observations coming up next Monday.、Uh, so I think you guys worked on the lesson. Could you tell me about your lesson overall? Sure.、Um, so, this is the beginning of lesson two, but in lesson one, our students are,、um, talked about how they can introduce their basic、um, who they are, their names.、Um, level one. Level one.、Yeah. Yes, level one. First year. First、okay. year, first、yes. unit so、ever. How to name my unit so、right. they can say、uh, their name,、mm-hmm. uh, where they live, and、um, their interests, just like what they like and、yeah. what they don't like. Skidus, Skidamigus.、Uh-huh. Yeah, very simple. We're talking about themselves. themselves. Immediate. Okay? Yes. All right. And now this is the beginning of lesson two. Everybody want to fill in? Yeah,、mm. in lesson two, we title the, the lesson itself, Honto no Watashi.、Mm. So we want them to dig a little bit deeper into、um, who they really are, like their identity, and not just surface level, but t h e i r Yeah, addressing、uh-huh. stereotypes.、Uh-huh. Um, so maybe. You know, they are American, but they don't like hamburgers, for example,、um, mm-hmm. or you know, whatever it may be.、Mm-hmm. Um, I may be Japanese, but maybe I don't like sushi. So, we, wanna, we want them to grapple with these、um, stereotypes and address who they really are,、um, including interest, future interests, which is a really important thing that we want them to think about. And that's the,、um, the first like, input for the Future aspiration is the observation side. Okay. Okay. We also chose that a comprehensible input as a focus point、mm-hmm. for the lesson,、um, some area that you want to try to, you know,、uh, to improve,、uh, implement, implement something new. right? So,、uh, how do you envision to start the lesson for that day? So, this is actually a new segment. We've never done the future aspiration, so we talked about it together. But I think we're going to start with our sensei's story, personal、mm-hmm. stories, because I think. All students think about their future to some extent, but you know, what was Sensei's,、uh, what, was, what was she interested in when she was a teenager, or when she was younger, or when、That's、she was、That's、in college?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, where, like, and now she ended up being a teacher,、okay. kind of thing. But sharing that journey、um, through pictures,、um, simple but repetitive、uh, language so、mm-hmm. that they keep on hearing those key phrases, k i o m i g a a r i m a s So, this is important, I think, because.、Um, We are introducing our own story as a, as a hook, but not only for the language, but for us to connect with them and for them to realize that yes, this person is now a Japanese teacher in front, standing in front of me, but we didn't always want to be a teacher necessarily. <laughs> like maybe wow, I wanted、really? to be a pianist, <laughs> <Yeah> . right? Or a football player, who knows, right? So,、um, again, addressing like those、um, 
we can always assume, uh -huh. you know, and so really digging deep into true me and so it's kind of revealing you know, self, yes. kind of yeah. vulnerability. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. So hopefully, Open. we're hoping that the students will appreciate that that mm -hmm. we're sharing a part of ourselves, like our history, and okay. hopefully that will act as a hook. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but like Miyako said, um, we will begin to use uh, the words that we want them to learn in this in the, through this lesson. Kill me, ga anima. So they've never heard these words before. Sure. But um, we will begin to use them in our introduction, in our, in our story, in our mm -hmm. childhood story. Yeah. So we chose um, a set of vocabulary to input here too, um, based on um, some data, mm -hmm. um, authentic data that we found on what Japanese high school students are currently, current Japanese high school students are interested in. So our vocabulary set is based on that data. Um, Game Creator Program, Engineer are pretty top ranking, huh. um, but the first time we're going to introduce these words, we will take this data that we found on the Japanese high schoolers' interests, and we will have a top five ranking for boys and girls, otoko no ko, mm. um, and we will have them blank, so the students have to guess. First, we'll start with otoko no ko, um, and we'll have the choices, like a kind of multiple choice mm -hmm. on the side, mm -hmm. Um, so I think, yeah, the game create that program uh -huh. are in there, right? Um, but they're out of order. So, um, of course, the students have never seen these words before, but we'll have visuals, mm -hmm. right, um, with the words. Um, and thankfully, yes. a lot of them are cognate, so they will probably understand what game create that mm -hmm. is. Um, so I think what we'll do is start from goban. Mina goban wa nanda to ka? Nan desu ka? Um, and because they don't know the words yet, right. we can say it out loud like programa, engineer, komuin. And as we point, they've never heard komuin before, but they'll see, we'll have a picture of um, government workers mm -hmm. or komuin. So once they hear komuin, if they think it's komuin, um, hopefully <laughs> they'll be guessing. Yeah, yeah, hi, Ian. Yeah. But at least they're interacting with the input mm -hmm. instead right. of just passively listening just or copying oh. down. Um, they, they have to be engaged. Yes. Uh, yeah. We just read a uh, high level education practice book and chapter one focusing on the uh, uh, comprehensive LA. Um, so uh, this handy dandy chart here, <laughs> category one, two, three, we have, um, are there any particular areas that you want to focus on? Um, for me, in the category one, um, I would like to focus on using uh, the last one, like discourse, rather than just presenting isolated words and drills. Um, you know, the for beginning of a new lesson is such an important part where they you want to hook not just with the content, but to really engage them from the first day mm -hmm. with the topic. So mm -hmm. that's something I want to be intentional about. Yes, yes. What about, what about you? Um, I think in category two, um, the first two, teacher use uses gestures to make new language clear, and then the visuals and concrete. I don't know if I would have concrete objects, but visuals um, to support the comprehension. I think that will be important in conveying the story, mm -hmm. our own personal story to the students, and yeah, for the comprehensive one. But Great. Looking forward to seeing you two in action next week. Thank you. Thank you. じゃあ何になりたかったろう。ね、私の興味、興味はセーラームン。セーラーム大好き。はい。で、いつも私クラスメートとロールプレイして、うん。ね、はい。この、この私の友達マヤ、マヤはね、セーラーム、セーラーム
。皆さんリアクション。本当。本当。嘘、冗談、冗談。皆さん、しゅ、先生スポーツ好きじゃない。<笑>はい、これ。So, how did it go for you? If you were to rate your lesson,、um, 1 to 10 scale, can be the best ever. I think it's the best ever. I think it's the best ever. I would rate it differently based on which part of the lesson. I,、um, I feel like Uh, well, thanks to being able to see Minako san's lesson first. I mean, that's obviously really helpful. Like, you know, like, you know, I had that advantage, so thank you, you know, for being able to see your example first.、Um, I think、um, based on that, 
I was I was able to be a little more intentional on the input. So um, I think that my input was not too bad. Um, maybe like close to a nine. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I felt like I was using like. Starting from where I talk about myself all the way through the guessing the ranking mm -hmm. is all input and I feel yes. like that is a that was that felt like a long time. I did not think it was um, time was uh, wasted or spent too much time. I okay. just didn't I didn't feel that uh, okay. personally. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Um, I think the engagement like you are really talking with the student throughout the your story. And I think it was super engaging, right. and like the acting part, <laughs> yes. and you know that you had them guessing, and they they were clearly like really mm -hmm. um, engaged. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I don't think it was too long. Too long. Yeah. There's a humor there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there's a personal, yeah. the, everything that, you know, High Leverage section talks about mm -hmm. was there, mm -hmm. that it made me realize that that much time Maybe it's necessary. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. it's actually, this is true. maybe what we're supposed right, to do is spend right. more time on yeah. input.